Welcome to Magic Duels. You are a planeswalker, a powerful mage dueling across the myriad worlds of the multiverse. Your story starts with these skill quests, challenges designed to hone your skills and prepare you for combat. If you'd like to replay a skill quest, you can do so from the Help and Options menu. Each player starts with a shuffled deck of cards called a library. Your library contains the creatures and other spells you'll need to defeat your foe. Each turn, you draw a card from your library into your hand. Only you can see the cards in your hand. You win the game by reducing your opponent's life total from 20 to 0. Zoom in on any card by double tapping it. Try it now. While zoomed in on a card, you can learn more about its abilities in the More Info box on the right. Zoom out by double tapping it again to complete this skill quest. Good job! You can zoom in on cards anywhere to learn more about them. In this skill quest, you'll learn how to attack with your creatures to reduce your opponent's life total. A creature deals damage equal to its power, the first number in the lower right corner. When a creature attacks, it becomes tapped or turned sideways. This shows it's been used for the turn. Your tapped cards will untap at the start of your turn. To complete this skill quest, Finish off your opponent this turn. For each creature you want to attack with, tap and drag it to your opponent. You can attack with all your creatures by tapping Attack with All. After you've chosen which creatures to attack with, tap Confirm Attack. Excellent! Attacking with your creatures is one of the surest ways to win. In the next skill quest, you'll learn how to defend yourself from your opponent's attacks. Your untapped creatures can block your opponent's attacking creatures. A blocked creature won't deal damage to you. Instead, it will deal damage to the creature that blocked it, and your creature will deal damage to the attacking creature. A creature is destroyed if it's dealt damage in a single turn equal to its toughness, the second number in the lower right corner. To complete this skill quest, survive your opponent's turn and then win the game on your turn. To block an incoming attack, tap and drag one of your creatures to the attacking creature you want to block. 
Once you've selected all the creatures you want to block with, tap Confirm Block. Great job! By blocking the more dangerous creature, you survived the assault. Now it's your turn. First, play the land card you just drew. Playing more lands allows you to cast more powerful spells. Now attack and win the game. Excellent! Remember, only untapped creatures can block. Now that you've seen creatures attacking and blocking, let's find out how to summon them to the battlefield. To cast a spell, you need mana, the magical energy produced by your lands. Each of your lands produces one mana when it taps or turns sideways. Tapping shows a card's been used for the turn. To see a spell's mana cost, look in the top right corner of the card. For example, Elvish Warrior's mana cost is two green mana. To cast Lightning Elemental, you need one red mana. Your mountain produces that. You also need three other mana of any kind. Any lands can be tapped to produce this three mana. After you cast a creature spell, that creature goes to the battlefield. Creatures can't attack on the turn they're summoned. This is called Summoning Sickness and it's indicated by a swirling effect. A creature with summoning sickness can still block incoming attacks. A few creatures have an ability called haste. Creatures with haste aren't affected by summoning sickness. In this skill quest, we'll start on your opponent's turn. To complete it, win the game on your next turn. Your Elvish Warrior can't block this turn because it's tapped. The creature your opponent just summoned can't attack this turn, but it will be able to block on your next turn. You can summon creatures to the battlefield from your hand by casting creature spells. To cast a spell in your hand, drag it to the battlefield.
Well done. All your tapped cards, including lands and creatures, will untap at the start of your next turn, ready to be used again. For completing this skill quest, you've earned some coins. After you finish Gideon's campaign, you can spend coins in the store to purchase booster packs containing new cards for your collection.